In this week's video, I would like to share some of the things that I have learned in restoring headlights that cost very little to do, are quick to do, and can make a major difference in how well the lights work and how they look. We received no compensation for the mention of or use of products or companies in this video. It was almost a year and a half ago that I cleaned up the headlights on a friend's Honda Pilot. They keep this car outside all the time and mostly in direct sunlight. After this amount of time, they asked me to clean the headlights again as they were starting to get a little cloudy. Without a UV clear coat on the lens, this does happen. In our video on the three minute headlight restoration, I showed how I cleaned these headlights the first time. That video goes into the basics of how to clean up headlights. And while I will touch on some of those basics here, I'm going to focus on some of the other things that do come up when cleaning up headlight lenses. Here I used 4 aught steel wool to clean up the bugs and grime off the lens. I speeded up the video here for the sake of time, but really does not take much time for this step. What is important is to clean the lens and then make sure it is completely dry. If the lens still has some coating on it, there are different ways to address this. In this case, I decided to remove the last of the coating with the steel wool. Then with the acetone saturated towel, a single swipe across the lens. Then folding it with a clean part of the same towel, swipe the rest of the lens. Now here I cleaned the surrounding paint with Windex right away to get the residue of the plastic and acetone off. Unfortunately, I got some of the Windex on the still drying lens and it was absorbed by the acetone. Well, this then caused the plastic to haze over in this area. Now, this isn't a disaster, it's just annoying. This can be corrected by just waiting until the lens is completely dry. Then just do a single swipe over the affected area with a towel saturated with acetone. Now, some have commented on my other video that acetone will fog the lens or ruin it or cause other problems. Well, what I have found is that this process must be done when temperatures are over 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Below that, it starts absorbing water from the air because it's condensing and you end up with the fogging issue. And make sure that the acetone and lens are completely dry. Now, a trick for doing this is if it's below 60 degrees, turn the headlights on before cleaning them and this will help. Headlights are not the only lights that benefit from cleaning with acetone. This is a C5 Corvette that belongs to a neighbor. His headlights are glass, but the turn signals and running lights have a plastic lens that has hazed over from sunlight exposure. The process is the same as with plastic headlights. In this case, not all of the coating had degraded off and was in fair condition. So, with careful use of steel wool, I kept the coating for now and just lightly clean the grime off the rest of the lens. Again, the lens must be completely dry. Wiping the Windex off all the way around so that it's not going to drip on the lens while wiping with the acetone. In fact, it's a good idea to look at the lens just before the swipe with acetone to make sure that it's still dry. If not, set the acetone towel aside, get a dry towel and dry it until it's completely dry. Again, when it comes to the acetone towel, fully saturate the towel with the acetone and do a single swipe across the lens. When it's done correctly, you should see the residue of the oxidized lens on the towel. This is also why the towel must be rotated before making the next swipe. If this residue comes in contact with a lens with acetone, it will redeposit back on the lens. In this case, I didn't use the Windex on the paint because it was too close to the lens and I might haze the lens with the water. You probably noticed that the paint on the Honda and the Corvette has not been damaged. Some say that acetone is going to damage the paint. Well, yeah, it will damage the paint if it's left on there. Acetone will not affect most catalyzed paints on vehicles that have plastic lens headlights. Now, you may also notice that the area that still has the coating is clear, but just a little different than the part that has been cleaned with the acetone. After the plastic has completely hardened, then the difference will be less noticeable. Comparing the left and right lenses, you can see the difference between cleaned 
and still hazed lenses. Another problem that comes up with plastic headlights is water getting inside the headlight. The best way I've found to correct this is to remove the headlight and dry it out, then seal it up. But the process to remove some headlights requires removing more parts than time will allow. So in this case, I did the drying while the headlight was still mounted in the car. To do this, I located and removed most of the light bulbs from the headlight. In this case, I removed three of the bulbs. Then I needed to dry the inside of the housing. To do this, I used one of Sherry's dog dryers. It blows a good volume of warm air through a flexible hose. Blowing the air into the headlight pushes out moist air and dries it out. Now this does take time, but while I have the air blowing in, I took advantage of the fact that the air is also blowing out of the leaks in the headlight housing. So I sprayed a mixture of dishwashing detergent and water on the seam. The air blowing through the leaks created bubbles at those leaks. With the leaks identified, I then switched to using our vacuum cleaner. Most of the water was already removed from the light, but I needed to draw the sealant into the leaks. The vacuum cleaner also helped by drawing air through the housing to help in drying it out. I used silicon RTV sealant along the leaking seam, and as I was applying it, I could actually see it being drawn into the seam with the vacuum. With the seam sealed along the top and the inside dried out, I could deal with the other issues of this headlight. With it dried out, I could see that there is a residue inside the headlight. Now, this headlight is attached to a lot of different things and would require a lot of things to be removed to get it out. I would have to remove the headlight and then separate the lens from the rest of the housing, then clean the residue off and then put it all back together. They decided that it was just too much work at this time, so they're just going to live with it for now. So I just went on with cleaning the outside of the headlight with steel wool and acetone, just as I did with the other one. If you found this video helpful, let us know in the comments below. If you know of someone that could benefit from this information, please do share a link with them. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, press the like button below and subscribe. And also check out our other videos.